I'm Victor here. I'm uh, going to go over a little bit of a complicated feature here. Uh, so strap in. We got uh, some good learning to do. Uh, definitely a really cool feature that will help like superpower a lot of your sites when it comes to mapping and having them be dynamic. So this is setting dynamic uh, information in your pop-ups um, when it from information stored on your post. So that might sound kind of weird, but let's uh, let's dig into it. So I just have an example here. Um, so I have a couple pop-ups. This is a pop-up. This is, again, just test stuff, so ignore the content. But um, this is just static. So I just wrote this in here uh, in my, you know, uh, in, the, in the post editor for this location. And this one is not static. It looks static. Yeah, it, Asmongold. I watch Asmongold. Um, yeah, so the... It, this isn't static, it's actually getting this term from a property. So let's look at what I mean. So if we go into um, this one, I think this is our one, yep. So this is the title. You can see it says, yeah, curly brace, name, and curly brace. So that is, it's substituting in a value here on the front end. So that's what we want to do, and that allows you to have values come through your uh, to your, your features and come right into your front end. So uh, just to understand, there's there's a few ways that we're going to be able to make a reference here and, and enter the data that we are referring to. We have uh, one way, which is through this thing called Mapster Custom Properties, or Custom Properties here. And we have another way, which will be through Advanced Custom Fields Special Fields that have been attached. We support both of those. So the custom properties, there's a couple of ways to enter these into your uh, your location or line or polygon. One way is to just click add entry and just add them in manually. Now that's a little bit clunky because you might as well just fill in this information directly, you know, why, why put in the name or anything. What it's really good for is when you're importing, because if you're importing and you have a big complicated um, GeoJSON, like I'm going to just hop one open here and show you. If you have a big complicated GeoJSON, it's going to, or shapefile or whatever you're doing, it's going to be able to take all those properties and automatically save them all. So you can see here, this is a big GeoJSON, and you can see in the properties I have Frontier Homestead, Camping, Boating, Biking. I want to save all these. I don't want them just to disappear and only keep the geography. So in the Pro plugin, this is what happens when you do your import, and you wind up with something like this example, where we have the name here, function. This just all filled in automatically when I imported that GeoJSON. So that is why you'd really want to use this uh, this dynamic thing, because then when you import a whole bunch of them, you'll just put in the right syntax to refer to the the property uh, the, the property, and it'll just autofill it appropriately. Now you can use this syntax in the header text, the body text, the button text, and also in if you're opening to a modal, you can use it in the modal text as well. Uh, if there's somewhere else you feel like you want us to add it, just get in touch. It's it's not a big deal for us to add it. We just wanted to keep it in uh, you know the minimal places that people will actually use it. So, so the other uh, bit here is that we can do it with custom fields. Now, custom fields are really helpful, especially when it comes to combining with your user submission stuff. You may want to refer to something that a user has submitted or you've somehow got someone else to enter into a, a given post in the ACF fields. Or you might have, want to have do something more complicated than you can do with property, uh, such as, you know, have multi-selects and things like that. So if you want to do that, you're going to have to head to custom fields and make sure you get something called a field ID. So here I have our, uh, just, I have a whole bunch of test fields, but here are the ones that refer to the same things. Here you can see school name, school picture, and here we are, school name, school picture. So you need to make sure that in the screen options, you've selected field keys to be on, and then you'll see these kind of keys appear. That's what you're going to need. So you're going to get that. We're going to copy it, come back to our post, and put um, uh, hey, and we're going to put ACF to tell the system that it's an ACF field dot and paste in our field. So that's how it's going to know that's what we're doing. And if we've done this right, it should now say, instead of hey, Asmund Gold, it'll say hey, Asmund School. So let's update this, and we'll come back to our pop-up from props. And we'll refresh, 
and we will see if it did it. So there it is, Hey Asmund School. Okay, so that's great. That's what we wanted to be able to do. So like I said, you can get these in with mass editing. You can get these in with um, directly entering them here or doing it through ACF. And uh, if you use this right, you can also, um, it'll really power your site to be able to fill in things dynamically. You can also specify this through the mass edit. So if you've added a whole bunch already and you, and you um, want to be able to make all the pop-ups change at once, you'll just select your features, come into edit pop-up and change the header text to do something like, like that again. So it's available throughout the plugin and uh, we hope that it makes, that it makes sense to you and that you find a great way to put this into use. Thanks.